definitely a defendable total um, and it would have taken us to bowl a bit straighter with more discipline and, and better fielding. Uh, I think we're, that second half performance from us was was pretty disappointing and, and, and a kind of a, a, a particularly after the first half where I thought we, we came back well, we batted pretty well there to get to 300 and yeah, a real shame that we couldn't hold our discipline, hold our catches uh, and field to a, to a standard which, you know, that probably showed us in the first half, the, the standard you need to field at. And if we'd done that, then, uh, then I think we probably should have won the game. You know, you can't afford to drop good players and, and William Porterfield is an excellent cricketer and he's going to make you pay and he ended up playing what was a pretty good anchor role from, you know, at the other end from Sterling. He, he obviously took it to us a bit, but um, and he got a fantastic hundred and to have someone uh, for a young guy to go out there and smash a hundred like that quickly, you need to have someone with a bit more experience play a cool head, cool headed role at the other end. And Porterfield played that perfectly. And given that we dropped what was pretty, pretty easy chance really early on, and then we actually dropped him again there at point. I think uh, you know that cost us and definitely cost us. I genuinely believe that, and I've said it throughout the tournament that associates do have a role to play in this and uh, in, in World Cups. I think they always have. And despite the fact that we're going to go home without a point, I think we, first of all, we played, I think, three or four, or probably three competitive games. Um, we were disappointing to, in, in, three, in three games as well. I think, you know, I think uh, if we would have had our chance again, we would hope to do better. Uh, and saying that, we, we were pretty happy with our first game. That was a chance for us to win. Um, we were happy with the way we came back against India, which... Um, you know, at 99 for four, we had a chance to win that game, and uh, and today making 300 batting first, I think that's obviously a good opportunity. We were disappointing in Bangladesh, a shame in South Af uh, against South Africa, and uh, and against the West Indies. But if, if it was up to me, then we'd be at the next World Cup. But uh, yeah, I don't think it really is. Oh, we felt that we were going okay, uh, knocking the ball around, um, and. I was kind of quite keen to take the batting power play about when we did, 43, 44 overs. It would have been really nice if Ryan was still in. Um, you know, he had just had a six and, you know, he went for another one. He's trying to have the six. It wouldn't have mattered really what the field was or if it was a power play. So, yeah, maybe it's a good point. It's, it's sometimes difficult to know exactly when to take it, but we would have liked to have taken it when we did and preferably Ryan would still be in then, Rude, and, and, you know, you... We could have taken it earlier, perhaps. Um, I think we did pretty well in the power play as it was. So, um, yeah, maybe we could have taken it earlier. I think um, fielding has been a, probably an area of concern for us for the last couple of years. Um, I think if you look at today's game, for example, Ireland conceded 307 runs, but they probably saved 20, 25 runs in the field. They fielded beautifully, and uh, and we, as you say didn't field well and probably cost ourselves, you know, 10, 12 runs plus drop two catches. So at the end of the day, that's the difference in the game. They fielded beautifully uh, and we, we, were, we were average to poor.